All right, we still got a little bit of work left before we start our cruise down to the Keys, but we got a nice west wind offshore today, so we're just gonna cruise down to Jupiter. It's gonna be a nice calm sail in the ocean, maybe do a little fishing, get a little further south, and we can still do some work in Jupiter before we really take off. The first thing we gotta do is lift our tender, and this has been th something that I have to do some work on this whole structure up here behind me and how we hoist this tender because originally the guy had a much smaller tender and we got this one off of the Facebook marketplace. A little bit bigger, probably a little too big for what we should have, but we didn't want to skimp on our tender. We use that thing to go everywhere, fishing, diving. Our spearing mobile. Spear fishing. So we really wanted to get really push the limits on kind of the size and, and size of the engine that we could go with with our tender. So we're sacrificing a little bit of performance having this thing on the back of the boat, but I think it's all right. Jenny likes it, that's what matters. So we've been having a tough time kind of figuring out how to hoist it. We've been able to do it, but it's just not super smooth. So I'm gonna have to rig something different. What we have going on now is just these stainless steel pipes or rods that are sticking off this solar structure and that's what was originally on here one on that side and then it put a block and tackle on there and then the, the dinghy came with those kind of stainless steel connection points these things are a little too close to the boat so when we lift it up it gets caught under here we got to kind of push it out as we lift it and it's a pain and then once we get it up, we got to bring the dinghy over a little bit more to rest it on this back platform. And that's a little tough too. Here's kind of a time lapse of us hoisting this dinghy. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments. Might have looked a little smoother in time lapse than actually it was. It took like, how long does that take? Like 15 minutes? Yeah, 20. We gotta get that down to like four. Sierra's <laughs> driving us out today, out of the pocket right now. I'm gonna start getting the sails up on our way out while Sierra drives. A fire over here, probably controlled burn over in like Hope Sound. It's a nice light west wind. It's gonna be beautiful out there. Hopefully calm. I think it's gonna be super calm. We're gonna try to catch a fish. Our first fish, maybe. Probably not though. Look at that, it's nuts, huh? This is the best part of the whole day. Ah, silence. This is why we're doing some shakedown stuff. We just hit a monster weight coming out the inlet and our mainsail was up and it just got a lot of slack and then all of a sudden smashed across. It didn't jive, but it was stayed on the same side, but it just got some slack smashed across. This fitting that's on the traveler system is right out of the back deck here. No big deal. We can fix that. The knots with just the main up. Solid 15 knots, probably gusting a little higher, gusting to 18. Woo! It's definitely about 20 knots. We're holding steady at seven and a half, jumping up to like eight and a half. We have full sail up. We're gonna probably reef here in a minute. It got super windy, so we put a double reef in the main. Actually, I think it's a triple reef. I think they, yeah, triple reef. It's only like, it's like 20 to 25 knots. We were being super conservative. So we got a triple reef in the main and like a little like, I won't really say it's a storm jib, a little bit bigger than a storm jib, but definitely like a storm jib. Heavy duty material. Got some lines in the water. Was not as smooth as when I was 
rougher than we thought. <laughs> Broke a few things today. The furling line came out of the roller furler, so that almost opened up on us. A couple other little things. I'll call that a good shakedown trip, though. Identified some weaknesses. We know what we gotta fix. We're heading into Jupiter Inlet right now. Sails are down. Super calm, right? We should have just stayed right next to land and just ripped in the flat water right next to land. Whatever. We had fun. Federal adrenaline is all clear. Thank you for the lift. You're welcome. Have a good afternoon. Yeah. There's a manatee right behind us. Jetty heard him, pointed him out to us. Two of them. Hey guys, we're just waiting for the Indian Town Bridge to open. We just want to thank you guys for coming along with us. And we want to thank you guys for always supporting and watching our our videos and clicking and all, all your, the links in the description. And all your cool comments. And all your awesome comments. You guys are the best. Keep commenting. Make sure you're subscribed below. And follow us on Instagram if you want up-to-date stuff. Yes, that's a good one. We post a lot more. Like these videos can be anywhere from just a day or two delayed to a, couple weeks. a week or two delayed so if you guys want to see like what we're up to real time almost um check out our instagram and facebook pages and they're in the link right in the description below thank you guys so much for coming with us we will see you next time Bye.